Hi everybody, this is Pramita here and I'm going to do a tutorial sort of thing. Uh, this is not an original idea. I have seen Jessica Rapp uh, of Two Silver Oranges do this as well as uh, Roxy Creations by Rachel attempt the same thing and they each have their own distinctive style and uh, you can see it's my take on the same thing that they have done. It's not unique but um, I use uh, things a little bit differently. I'll talk about that in the process. I did try and go live on YouTube. Unfortunately, it didn't work out because the internet connection was not good enough. So what I've done is um, I have chosen to do this tutorial of sorts, and um, I've I've the thing that I had been making in my uh, YouTube live was this. So I have just sliced uh, the papers up and I intend to show what I've done to them. So this the, this was actually a double book page. Uh, I'll show you. Like something like this. So this is actually two book pages that I've glued together and uh, I am going to do a collage on top of this. So I started using this and then I have sliced it up into different sizes um, whichever in whichever way I thought that I could uh, you know keep some images intact. So I've done that. These are some tags. Um, this is entirely following Rachel's uh, style. And I do have a lot of scraps which I need to use up. So, and on top of that, I have a custom order for a butterfly themed as well as a bird themed uh, journal cover. Uh, you know, the folders that I had done a while back. So I'm working on that and I would be needing some um, journaling cards, tags and stuff like that. So I thought that I'm going to show you how I do that. Now you can also do this with your A4 size papers as well as your um, craft paper, uh, junk mail, anything will work but right now I'm only using book page. So if you're interested in seeing how I use my junk mail uh, doing the same thing then of course you can comment below and I'll try to make another part of this um, process because this is not a tutorial you can see better versions of this with Jessica Rapp and uh, Roxy, uh, Roxy Creations by Rachel so this is just a simple book page what I've done is I have glued two pages together so that it's a little bit sturdy because I will want to you know use the back for writing purposes. Uh, one thing I need to add for this is that these will be stitched along. So I'm going to do a, you know, a sort of messy kind of stitching. It's very similar to Jessica Rapp and um, and that's how. But uh, I might not might not do a messy stitching in this case because it already has a cool background. This is a vellum sticker I have used. Uh, you can use your die cuts and stickers and stuff like that. I am going to show, try and show as much as possible. Uh, so if I do not finish within a specific time frame, I might do a second part of this. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just trying to find some scraps that I can work with. And uh, let me show you what I can do. So this is my scrap box right now and I do have a bunch of stuff. And I'm going to go through this to see what I can use. So I can use this. So I'm just sorting through the items that I can use and uh, just discarding things which I do not think would go. Uh, this is a vellum piece I have. And I'm going to use this. Uh, these are some, okay, so these are some mail stickers. Uh, I can use this. So you can basically use and repurpose all kinds of junk. I have this scrap of paper. So uh, not everything is going to be in the, you know, in the squarish shape. I can tear things up and use them as I like. Uh, some music paper. So 
some grid paper just to add a little bit of interest. The, this is an image from Graphic 45, so I might use that, I'm not sure. And I'm also digging into more scraps, more scraps, just to see if I can salvage anything. So I do have certain things. So some poems by Robert Frost, some scraps. So the first thing is to locate some scraps that you can use in your uh, project. So this is another card that I had done uh, using a book page uh, of this zoology book that I have. Uh, so I've used that. So uh, some scraps from other projects, some die cuts. Um, so I think I should start gluing stuff down and there is no rhyme or reason to this. So you can be rest assured that you can never go wrong basically. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, sorry, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start gluing stuff down. So I need my glue stick. I don't know where it is. Uh, here, yeah, I have my glue stick. So I'm just going to, just let me move the camera a little bit. Yeah, so that you have a better view. And I have enough working space. So this is the book page that I have. And I'm just going to start gluing stuff down. So what I do is I'm just gluing some, adding some glue. And I don't know basically what I'm going to add. But one thing I am sure... I'm going to line up the edges, you know, I'm taking off all sorts of rubbish. So I'm going to line up the edges, okay, and put this down. So I have not put glue on the entire label, so I'm going to put some glue over here. And I keep all sorts of odds, odd ends, you can say. Uh, so that I can use them in my journals uh, and that's that so I've put this down and now I'm going to move on to other bits so I can put this but I don't want this squarish uh, shaped sort of thing I want something else I want something else okay so I want this paper uh, this was actually, I had uh, made a signature using this uh, paper from Planner Society package, but um, unfortunately, I did not add that to my uh, a signature. So I'm going to add this. It doesn't matter whether your paper is big or small. Uh, it doesn't matter whether they go or not, because ultimately they will match up, you'll see. So I've just glued this down and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of music page. So I'm going to add over here. So This music page is pretty fragile so I'm very uh, careful while I use this. So I, yeah, so this is this, this is how it's shaping up. So I have this half uh, image sort of thing, so I can use it over here. And then I'm going to just put it like so. Yeah. So it's like this. So my page is nearly done on one side. I don't want to fill up everything because I would add some element to this, like a tissue paper or a die cut or a sticker or something of that sort. Uh, and now I'm going to work on the other side. So for the other side, I'm just turning the paper. It doesn't matter which way you work. And I'm going to use this paper. Uh, so these are some other scraps I have and I really need to make use of them. This is an excellent way by which you can use up your scraps and add journaling options to your journals so that's that 
and I have this stitched kind of thing so I like this and I might use this but in a different fashion so I'm going to use this part and tear this up so I'm going to use this oh. these were actually parts of franken papers I think I made envelopes out of this when I was sending out some orders so they are the remnants so I if I need I can add this over here so I'll do that later on let me work on this page first so I have some pinkish kind of stuff this is a piece from Daphne's diary and I'm just going to add this I hope I'm in frame and uh, I'll add these later on and I can add this so I'm just going to tear up little bits and pieces okay I can add like this so I'm just not thinking too much just laying stuff down as I get uh, to them basically and I'm just not bothered much so I have a um, you know craft paper bag sort of thing which has some vintage uh, labels printed on them and this came in a happy mail. I had some some items the person who sent me in it. Uh, so what I've done is I've just torn it apart, used it as a layering element, and I hope so. I can use this. So I'm using this over here. So that's that. This is another scrap I had. I think I'm going to use it like so because this has a squarish kind of edge. I like that. Or I might do it like this. But this is going to be... Yeah. So I'm not going to use the other side. I'm just going to use the light colored background. So... I usually try to line up the straight edges because that makes the work easier and that's that so I'm going to start digging into more scraps and see how things work so this is another scrap I have this is from a nature book and um, I can use up these leaves sort of thing they are covered with ice the picture suggests that and I can tear this part up. Okay. I have sticky fingers now. And I'm just going to put these at random random heights and places. Not think much basically because I'm going to cover the surface as much as possible. I'm not going to cover everything because I know this is a book page. I don't need to cover everything up because I'll already have a background so I'm not worried about that. I'm turning the book again. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of music paper like so. I hope you can see it. So this is a very fragile paper and I'm going to add it over here. So. What I can do is, I do have some very, very, very old book pages. Uh, these I think came in some happy mail. And, um, okay, so I have this vellum piece, I told you. I can use this, but um, this doesn't stick to the paper too well. So I might do it like this. I like to keep the page numbers, I don't know why. I... I generally try and keep them 
when I'm collaging and this is how it's going to look so I do have this page more or less ready and I'm going to work on this page you can use washi tapes also I do have a huge stash of washi tapes which I am planning on using up some in these projects so what I can do is uh, I don't know if I have them nearby. Yeah, I sure do. So just let me go through them. Sorry, guys. I'm just so overwhelmed with these papers. So here I have some washi tapes, as you can see. And I can use them. Uh, so I might use the postal stamp one. Okay. And this is a white washi, so I can tear parts of this and get a lot of areas covered. So I'm just going to tear this. Uh, do I have my scissors somewhere around here? Now I can't seem to find them. So. Okay, so I have another of those. So this is the washi and I'm going to use the washi also. Uh, but this is pretty tough and I'm going to use this bit. So I am going to use this bit. And some I have over here, some extra bits that I can use somewhere around here. So, bring stuff around and can add this here so it's just getting covered up basically you don't get to see too much and yet you have this now I will cut out pieces and make tags and journaling cards uh, once I finish layering stuff up so I'm going to I hope I'm in the view because then it would make sense. So I've finished putting things down and I'm not going to put anything right now over here. At the back I would like to have some writing space. So I'm going to cover some areas up. Rachel does this and I like her style a lot. I'm a huge fan of hers and eagerly await for her new videos and she also has access to some pretty good stuff because she lives in Italy and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cover some portions you know uh, randomly so that I have some writing space at the back so it might not be like this okay and then I will use some grid paper these are all scraps but you can still use them to write stuff down and I am going to put this like so I'm not going to cover the whole back portion you'll see I'll cover this in bits and pieces I have a sticky hand and these are all scraps from making journal pages which I really need to use because I hate to throw these out. I wonder how you people are doing because uh, I have just closed my shop on Etsy for a while and I will be back on Etsy but in the meantime I'm taking custom orders uh, because some people have contacted me so I'll finish those custom orders and I'll be back with the restock. Yeah. So 
so if you want your journals it's not that I'm not making journals I am but uh, most of them are custom made custom journals sorry sorry I'm rambling too much this kind of weird fiber so I'm just adding stuff down as you can see and that's that and I will also add some other odd bits like this is an envelope okay I don't want to use this okay so this is an envelope that I have and uh, what I can do is I can simply snip this part off and I kind of like the different variety of colors that you get in your writing papers once you complete your writing uh, it looks very interesting and you can use ephemera, different kinds of printables uh, to cover the back also, but I am not doing that. Uh, and I'm going to also show like this is a scrap paper I have. I have these stripes and I want to use them. So what I do is I just simply snip the portion off. Okay. And I'm going to lay it down like so. So I'm going to lay it down and I'm not going to cover everything just as I told you some portions will be left as it is and some I'm going to cover so this is another scrap piece which I'm going to use so I'm going to cover this part So I, what I generally do is I generally try to cover the spine part and if there are holes that I couldn't, uh, you know, while taking off the pages, I couldn't do it properly because of some kind of stitching or something, then I try to fix that by using paper on top and, you know, it, it works out well basically. So I have this scrap piece that I'm using over here so as you can see it's looking very uh, weird right now but once we trim this off I have this envelope once more and I am going to use that don't look horrified because that's how things roll um, yeah so after a point of time you tend to accumulate a lot of scraps and you don't know basically what to do with them so this is how uh, you can use up this is not my idea um, Jessica Rapp had shown this idea and uh, Roxy Creations she has also worked on a similar lines and now my page is nearly done so what I can do is I can let it dry for a while because but that's not necessary entirely because I already have um, I already have this uh, you know used glue stick so it doesn't need too much of drying time and what I can do is I'm going to draw some lines just let me get hold of my set square so just a bit more I don't know where did I keep it my crafty items are a big mess right now because I told you I'm creating some custom orders so anyways what I intend to do is I intend to str uh, cut down from this side and I'm using my um, box cutter you can use your scissors not to worry so I'm going to just trim this off uh, okay so I have this already done in two pages now I can make tags or um, journaling cards out of this uh, you can keep it like this and you know the person who gets it will be able to transform it in any way they like but I'm just going to show you how I do stuff so basically I can make three tags out of this space Mm, this length okay so it's around seven and a half inches and what I can do is if I make it 
two and a half inches wide then I can uh, make three tags out of this paper okay and if I want to make them taller then of course I'm going to measure it along this way uh, so that's around five and quarters so it will be around two and a half and uh, 2.6 inches around that so either way you can do but I think I'm going to go with the you know the big tags and or the big journaling cards you can make journaling cards also so let's do one thing let us make uh, tags which are square tags so you can transform them into journaling cards if you want to so I'm just going to eyeball it and I'm going to trim this so this is one of the cards or stuff that you have done and here is the another one it's not done okay and you have three of those so that's done and in this case I can use uh, I can make uh, two tags basically tall ones so I can slip this snip this off from the middle okay so I have two tags I will trim those out and stitch them and stuff like that so these are the basically the tags that I have made and you have some cool writing spaces at the back too and uh, I think I'm going to end my first um, part over here and in the second part I'm going to show you how I'm going to embellish this uh, so bye everybody and watch out for the second part